Hi guys, in today's video I want to show you how I prepare my digital mockups. If you are not sure how you're gonna paint your miniature, this is a good way to approach it without messing it up. You're gonna need an image edition program like Photoshop, uh, GIMP or Photopea that's actually free and online that work with layer system and blend modes. You can use a regular mouse, but if you have a digital tablet, it's even better. All those programs work with a layer system that you can place above or below and play with it. If you have never used this kind of image edition program, it's advisable to check a few tutorials to get comfortable with the controls. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. First of all, you need to prime your mini and make some pictures of it. I primed this basilisk from Miniature Makers with a Zenito light from above. Then I created this collage with different angles, but you can do with just one picture as well. It will depend on the model and the different features it has. We open the file on the program and then we will create a new layer above the original with blend mode on multiply. Then I put down the opacity by 10-20% more or less. And then I choose the primary color I want to use. And I create a new layer again in normal blend mode to place down the colors of the palette so I have them always on hand. If you know all the colors you're going to use, place them on the palette layer. If you just know the primary color, you can get help to get the rest from a color skin picker. There are many online and there is also a wide variety of apps that can help with this. Now it's time to just have fun and paint. As you can see, it looks like if you were really painting the mini. For me, this mini I have some ideas but I'm not sure of what to do or how to work with the colors. So I will try many things to see what really stands out. I'm going to use this bronze skin color as a base and now from this color I pick up another with a bit of red that looks like a red brown mahogany or mahogany or whatever you call it I apply it on the spikes of his back and maybe on the legs and scales now I pick up a very saturated red to create a nice transition on the spikes. You can be as precise as you like on this process, but have in mind that this is just to create a general understanding of the color scheme you will use. Now I will try some colder colors to give them sense of poison. Now I use this electric blue to keep a final dot on the edge of the spikes. Remember to get your colors on the palette layer so you don't forget them. Okay, so this was the first try. Now using the same palette I created, I will change the whole thing using as a base this this little bit the blue. I had this idea that the bones could be a different color. I pick up a warmer color to apply it in the shadows, like if it was a wash. But I don't really like how it looks and so I erase it. See how easy it is to fix mistakes and play around.
And for the last tip, once you have your color palette and few color schemes, if you are not convinced, a very easy way to find a new and exciting color scheme is to change the hue tone. You just have to go to adjustments and then tone saturation. And play with the hue bar. This will change the colors automatically, creating new schemes that can be interesting to explore. This is all guys, have fun with your mockups! I would love to know your experiences with this method. And if you know other ways or have any questions, please leave a comment below. I love to hear from you. In the description below you will find some links for the tools I use. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!